this current contract, they're constructing two tunnels from this shaft. The White River Tunnel and our Lower Pokes Run Tunnel. So from this shaft, we go up about 4,500 feet or so in the White River alignment. And then the tunnel bore machine actually veered off to mine the Lower Pokes Run alignment, which goes under downtown. That alignment's about 10,100 feet long or so. And it goes basically from under White River, about where McCarthy Street is, over to like Angie's List campus. So kind of goes up Kentucky, um, runs under South Street for a few thousand feet, and then cuts northeast up near Angie's List where it ends up by Pine Street up there. So they're 9,000 feet in to that alignment. So from where we stand, the tunnel boring machine's about, about close to 13,000, 14,000 feet from us right now. Once they're done with that lower Pogues run alignment, they've got about 1,100 feet to go, they can actually back the tunnel boring machine down that alignment, and then they'll relaunch and mine the remainder of the White River alignment. And that's beneficial because being able to do that helped us eliminate the need for a shaft. Like this shaft we went in right here to come down, construct the machine, launch the machine. Those shafts are very expensive, they're time consuming. Well, we're able to mine that lower Pogues Run um, alignment without the need for a shaft because we just veered off of the White River alignment. And we don't need a shaft at the end because we don't have to retrieve the machine and take it back up to the ground surface. We can back it down that 10,000 feet and then just keep going right up the White River alignment.